Okay, here we are getting ready to get in hive number five. Yeah, that looks like a pretty good look for y'all. So, I already smoked the entrance. So let's go ahead and take the lid off. Just open it up till we see eggs. This has a different type of hive beetle trap on this hive. So, we'll set this right here. We'll see if any hive beetles made their way into it. Not a one. So, that's telling me the bees are doing good at keeping them at bay. We'll check it to see if they're storing any of the sugar water I gave them. And they are. You can see that. You can see how white it is. It's all sugar water. Very little on that side, but they do get some on that side. So let's check the next frame. This is one I gave them to repair. You got a little yeah there's sugar water in there I don't know if you can see it but you can see how they built the comb out so they're doing what I want them to do so we're going to take this one set it to the side get into the bottom box which is your main hive chamber let's check this hive beetle trap which of course they got glued down and there are no high beetles, so we'll put it right back. The main cluster of bees is here. There's none out here by the feeder. I'm going to have to level these hives. I'm looking at my oil tray down below, and I can tell this hive is no longer level. So I'm going to have to level these hives, which, you know, you got to do that every now and then is get them back to level again. So maybe in the next day or two I'll come out here and set the hive to the side and put the blocks on and level it. All right, let's see what we got going here. We got larva in different stages. I'm looking for eggs. We got a queen cell that has been destroyed. Okay, but we have another one right next to it. So we're going to see if we can find our queen, see how healthy she is. There's eggs in here, so I don't know if something's wrong with our queen. There's another one that there has an egg, it's charged. Yeah, it's got the larva in it, very charged. So I don't know. But there's plenty of eggs in all the empty cells. So I'm going to find our queen, see what she looks like, and see if I can see maybe why they want to supersede her this late in the year. They may... Look at that pattern. So she's laying lots of eggs. Ooh, crooked wing virus right there. Give me this bee. You're dead. That's a crooked wing virus bee right there. I want to show y'all what a bee with crooked wing looks like. Okay, I'm just going to try to slow them down a little bit. But if you can see, you can see the wings are all deformed. Doesn't really look like a bee at all well kind of sort of it does but all right you can see the wings are super crooked not fully formed and that's from mites that's what you call crooked wing virus and that's what i've been trying to get rid of is that Okay, everybody, I'm back. Hive five, I ended up finding seven bees with crooked wing virus. Now, this hive I've treated with Apigard three different times, 
and I still have bees showing up with it. So I switch to a different treatment, the formic acid that's in the patty uh, design. Uh, this one here is by Nature's Own Design and it's got 20 treatments in every bag. But when you handle this stuff, you gotta wear gloves. So I got this hive completed. So we're trying to get hive five under control here with the mite problem. I don't know what the problem is, but the mites are getting resistant to the apigard. So that's why I'm switching up to a different chemical and we're gonna try and knock them out that way. I've done mite counts. I've treated with Apigard three times and it's got the formic acid in it now. The brood is still hatching out that still is afflicted with that virus. I emptied the oil tray, had many, many, many mites in it from the treatment. So hopefully it got most of them. They were supposed to kill them even inside the cells the ones that are down there eating on the larva. So we'll see how it is in a couple of weeks. When the rest of this brood pattern hatches out, we'll get rid of any bees that are afflicted with the disease. And hopefully we fixed our hive. Time will tell. Hit the like button, subscribe. God bless, have a good day.